The match between Arislandi Lara and uh, Thomas Lomana is going to take place this weekend. Arislandi Lara right now scored 27-3-3, 15k, 45.45% is his reach, 38 years of age, the American dream, 5'9", 75 uh, inches is his reach, fighting out of Houston, Texas. He is riding on, on a great win streak with victory, back to back victories over Ramon Alvarez and Greg Vendetti, World Boxing Association World Super Welterweight title, and Vacant International Boxing Organization World Super Welterweight title owner. He uh, lost to Jared Hurd and Brian Carlos Castaño. Prior to that, he defeated Taro Gausha, Yuri Foreman, Vanes Martirosian, Jan Zavek, Delvin Rodriguez, and uh, many others. I've got to say that uh, Rislandi Lara is an incredibly fast boxer, very quick, great level change. And this southpaw fighter is actually pretty much offensive, which is kinda odd for a southpaw fighter, but this guy is offensive. Now Thomas Lamana, 13-4-1, 12 KOs, 34.29% of KO rate, 6 foot 1, 74 inches is his reach. Interestingly, he is taller, but uh, Lara has greater uh, reach. Then uh, he is fighting out of Millville, New Jersey, USA. He is uh, going to meet. Uh, he is going to meet Arislando Lara, but uh, he is also on a similar streak. He defeated Jorge Pimentel, Juan de Jesus, de Jesus San Juan Gonzalez. Prior to that, he lost to Bram Mendoza and Jorge Cuata. I've got to say that uh, these two guys are pretty much uh, well rounded. And uh, I expect a tactical battle. I mean, Thomas Lamana is also aggressive, but I kind of have a feeling that Cornflake might be fighting on his back foot. Might, and uh, I believe Cornflake or uh, Thomas Lamana has uh, a slightly better stamina. So if the fight advances into later rounds, this might be an advantage for Lamana. I think that's uh, going to be a close fight as both fighters are pretty much tricky. I would uh, I would say for this fight, maybe a majority of you are going to laugh. I would say plus 10.5, or I would say the fight goes the distance. It's kind of hard for me to determine who's going to win here.